The Philips Hue Dimmer Switch V2 is the second generation Hue Dimmer Switch, but is the Philips Hue app the best one to use? Philips has a few switches that you can use with your Philips Hue light bulbs. This one is the Dimmer Switch V2. In the box you will find a quick startup guide, the dimmer switch and back plate. The back plate can be stuck to the wall with the included 3M tape or screwed to the wall or screwed to the existing wall light back box. The dimmer switch magnetically attaches to the back plate for easy removal. The buttons are easy clickable and well built. There are four buttons, top for power, next to dimmer control, but this is where the Philips Hue app is extremely restrictive. The bottom Hue button is for changing scenes only. But later in the video, I will show you how to set up the dimmer switch in an app called Hue Essentials that lets you assign any control to any button. Here you can see how to remove the back part of the back plate so you can screw it to any wall light back box. To set up, you will need the Philips Hue Hub. Then open the Philips Hue app, select settings, then the plus button top right. Select dimmer switch, choose yes as you have the dimmer switch with the Hue button. Then press and hold the top button for three seconds and the light will start flashing different colours. Then click the LED is blinking button within the app. After a few seconds it will connect. Choose the location of the switch. The switch is now connected with the default settings. I'm going to press on. Press the scene. To view and change the button controls, select settings within the Hue app, accessories, then the dimmer switch. Select mode to choose with either time based light or scene select. As you can see at the bottom, with time based you can use the Hue button to set a scene based on the time of day. Select the lights that the dimmer will control. Click the press button. The Hue app works well for most, but it is slightly basic and somewhat restrictive. You can only select a scene as the light colour. I will show you how to use this with a Hue 
Essentials app to set any colour and any brightness you want to any button. To use the Hue Essential app, you may first need to delete the dimmer switch from the Philips Hue app, then download and open the Home Essentials app. Select the Devices tab, click the plus button, Smart Control, then Hue Dimmer Switch. Press and hold the dimmer switch top button for 3 seconds to connect the switch. You will then see the dimmer switch. Choose which button you want to configure. You can either use the wizard or manually set up. To manually set up click the plus button, choose the type, press on hold. Add condition to select the room or the light to control. Choose the state to switch on. You can then also set a fade on time. You can also change the hue button to switch off the lights if you require, which you can't do on the Hue app. To set the dimmer buttons, choose the light or group brightness And under Type, choose Increase or Decrease Brightness. You can then select the incremental brightness via the slider. Here's a quick look at all the options that are available for you within the Hue Essentials app. If you want to control the colour temperature of the light bulb as well as the brightness, you have the option as well within this app. Choose the button to set up, but this time choose set group colour or light colour. Here you have more controls and options for colours, or the Kelvin white colours, as well as the brightness. You can also add a fade. You can also upgrade to the premium app for more options. So now I can do on. I need to single press or multi press. Press and hold. 
on the sail to go down. But now, instead of scenes, I can just be off. The Hue app is great for most users, but the Hue Essential app is much more useful. But if you want even more control, so you can control not only Philips Hue light bulbs, but any light bulb, including smart plugs, switches, or anything else, in the next video, I will show you how to set up the Philips Hue dimmer switch into Home Assistant. Hit the subscribe button and like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below.